Hello, hello and hello, my name is Tino Trevor and today I'm going to teach you how to make the perfect green beer in three simple steps. For obvious reasons, this year I cannot go to my favorite pub to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. That, however, does not mean I have to forgo my favorite St. Patrick's Day treat, the green beer. The secret to this is food coloring and a light colored beer such as a lager or a pilsner. Let's get started. Step 1. Open your food coloring. You can get it from any supermarket. Make sure though you get the flavorless one. The last thing you want to do is alter the taste of your beer. Add a couple of drops into the base of the glass. Make sure not to under or overdo it. You don't want a pale green nor a dark green beer. Both look kind of weird. You want a beautiful, vibrant St. Patrick's green. Step 2. Now you can start pouring the beer. Tilt your glass to about 45 degrees and pour slowly so the food coloring mixes evenly as you pour. At around the halfway point, angle your glass upright. This will cause the carbon trapped in your beer to start releasing. This process is called nucleation. It will allow the aromas and the flavors of your beer to be at their best when you drink it. It also helps you avoid getting that bloated feeling after a couple of beers and gives your beer a good head. That's the foam at the top of your beer. Now that you have a perfectly poured green beer, let's move on to step three the best step of all. Step three, lift, appreciate, sip, and repeat. Cheers. Happy St. Patrick's Day.